Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, people of all ages, my name is David Popovich, aka The Bookworm, and welcome to Bookworm's Fair Street Retrospective, where your worst nightmares live. It's important to keep your doors and windows locked at night. You never know what might be out there trying to get in. But what if one did get in, but isn't alive? This is Haunted. For Melissa, she has been on edge since the news of the Fair Street Prowler has become the latest town gossip. Someone has been breaking into houses on Fair Street. Maybe you should have thought twice before deciding to live on Fair Street. But her parents tell her not to worry. We've lived on Fair Street for five years, her mother said. We've never had the slightest problem. Lady, have you heard what's been going on on Fair Street lately? So Melissa tries to go about her day with her birthday coming up. But then, what was that? It sounded like whispering. A voice? Nearby? No. It couldn't be. It was the wind. Of course it's the wind. It's always the wind. It can't be nothing else but the wind. A young man stepped out of the shadows at the foot of her bed. She couldn't see his face. The light from the window formed an outline around his dark form. He had no face. Only the blackness of night where his face should have been. Oh, that's nothing to worry about, honey. It's just the wind. Melissa calls for help. But when her father arrives... Where, Melissa? He's here. He's... Who? Seeing no one, her father started to breathe normally. He walked over to her bed and slumped down on the edge. Daddy, he... I don't see anyone. But she keeps seeing this strange young man wherever she goes. Could it be the prowler marking his next victim? Or is something more sinister haunting her? The cover is okay. It has the spooky factor with the transparent young man looming over our hero standing up in shock. The curtain blowing even though the window is nearly closed. And a full moon cause full moons are scary damn it! Fear them! Fear them! But really, when you look at it, the characters don't look scared. Honestly, it comes off as a paranormal romance novel, with the sexy young man cocking his hips to the side, his I don't care attitude, and Melissa Moore, oh, then fright. If it weren't for the Fear Street label, I almost mistake it for a Harley Quinn novel. There's a prowler in Melissa's room, but is he dead or alive? But that's the big mystery of the book. Is this man the prowler of Fear Street or a ghost? And the book plays with that concept more than you would believe, pulling you along with Melissa as the mystery goes deeper and deeper, especially when it hits you with a second act reveal that turns the story completely on its head. At that point, you have to read just to see what the big twist is, and I'm not sure if I can call it the smartest or dumbest twist I've read, but it undoubtedly is one of the most unique. It's honestly a fun read with a good mystery and some genuine supernatural stuff. It even goes into a bit of social commentary since Melissa comes from a rich family while the mystery man from a lesser upbringing. Sometimes she felt really uncomfortable having so much more than other kids. She wondered what those other kids must think of her. How much they resented her for being so lucky. Hmm. Fear Street Hunger Games. All in all, this is a good book. The last act can be a major deal breaker, but you can't help but give points for its originality, which also makes it stand out from most of the Fear Street pack. I wish the social commentary played in a little more, but in the end, it's a good scary book. What else could you ask for? What about you, Internet? What's your opinion about Haunted? Till next time! Have a scary day!